Good afternoon, ladies. Let me just check that you're all there. Yes, we are live. Okay, couldn't see from over here. Um, welcome to Artichoke's um, video today, which is about how to wear coatigans. So we're showing you 10 ways how to wear our coatigan that we have six different colours in. So for those of you who haven't joined us before, my name is Donna. You're going to see Sarah on next. Um, I'll tell you that I am five foot exactly and um, an eight to ten in clothes. Um, sort of a, a small eight on the bottom and um, a ten on the top. So I am five foot and the first thing I want to show you is where the coatigans come, the length of the coatigans on me. So if you've had our heavy knit gilets, they are waterfall, the coatigans are not. So the coatigans are like our heavy knit in that, that they have sleeves, but the other main difference is that they're shorter. They, they are a straight edge on the bottom, which means when you're five foot, they are slightly shorter and more suited to, I, I feel more comfortable in the shorter uh, coatigan. Right, so I am, so I'm, first thing I'm going to do is whip off the scarf. So how you wear coatigans is, um, when I did some research, is you can wear them outside and inside. So it's a look that, and this is what I came to work in today. I didn't wear a coat today, although we have had a lady in today that looked amazing in her green coat again, and she had a coat on over the top. Um, but this is how I came to work today, just wearing the, the coat again as a coat. And this is how I have worn it today. Um, bit hot at the moment because we've had the heating whacked up in the shop and it's finally warmed up. Also, we've got the lights on. So it's a little bit toasty at the moment, but earlier on today, it's a case of it's, it's on and off all day. Um, and that, that's good. So I, I don't look odd that I'm walking around the shop in a coat. Um, you know, so you can wear them outside and inside. So stick a big scarf as I had um, on to take it outside. And then once you're in, this is what I, you'll always see me standing in the shop, wrapping it round like that. That's what I love about them. Uh, right, so I am wearing today, I've um, teamed the coat, the stone coat again with the, with a stripe. So I'm wearing it with a casual jean um, and uh, a, a stripe underneath. So navy stripe, but obviously you could, you could block any colour underneath. And what you need to do, ladies, is because the coatigan is so oversized, especially if you're my height or similar, because the coatigan is so oversized, you need to keep um, your clothes underneath slim fitting. So you don't want to go oversized underneath. Um, so very figure hun hugging underneath. Um, where else am I going with this now? So stripe polo. Oh, and just to tell you that these coatigans, six colours we're going to show you, they are £60, ladies, and all six colours are online, Sarah, aren't they? Yes, they are. There they we go. go. Well, this is small. well, I'll do that when I'm wearing You'll, it. Yeah. Yes, I'll do that. So there we go. I'm just going to give you a twirl to see While the back. While you're twirling, I'm going to check the sound, because, okay. of course, we didn't do that. Um, just to show you that I have yeah. also, every time you see me coming out in one, look, the, the sleeves are long. Don't worry if you're thinking the sleeves are going to be short, too short for you. I have to um, fold them over, but they look okay folded over. So if you suffer from, uh, you don't like long sleeves, you can shorten these to as, as short as you want. And there we go, that looks quite nice folded over. Right, there we go, Sarah. Sarah's very similar look actually, um, but um, I've teamed it with boots and then I'll let Sarah come on now and explain to you. So ladies, good afternoon and uh, welcome to Artichoke. For those of you who are new, we do these styling videos every week. If you're watching for the first time, either on Instagram, Facebook or YouTube, please push the subscribe or like or follow button, which you will find um, somewhere. And then that means that you get updates weekly uh, of the videos that we do for you. For those of you who are regulars, welcome. I can see that lots of you are with us today. You know the score, chat amongst yourselves, push that love button if you see something that you really, really like, ask questions. If 
somebody who's an old hand at this can't answer for you. I always check the video afterwards, although today it's the first uh, rehearsal of Oxford Panto, so I'll probably be going through this tomorrow uh, morning. So, Cotigans, Donna did all the research on this, so this is lovely. I just rocked up and put things on. Um, I'm wearing a stone Cotigan too. I'm just going to give you a twirl. I am five foot six at the bottom. I am a size 10 to 12. At the top, I am a 12 to 14. And following Donna's advice, the outfit that I've got underneath, um, is quite close fitting. You'll see that I've got my 1975 uh, stonewash jeans on with the roll. You'll see that I'm wearing pointy shoes. Now these are good for elongating your legs because they've got quite a low frog. Um, you also will see that there is a gap between my, the shoe and my jean which is good at elongating my leg. And then it means that everything is quite close fitting as you go up my body to contrast with the oversized coat again. Now you might think that that is um, a bit of an oxymoron when you see that I've got the floaty chiffon blouse. Finally went online this morning, ladies. But what I've got is I've got one that's actually quite fitted. So um, it does its thing. It's got flesh showing, which makes me look taller and thinner. Um, but also it covers my tummy. So it's quite fitted to the body, but I've got enough give here. You'll see these are the ones with the elastication so that um, it covers my tum, which is obviously something that I need to do. And cotigans look great with V's. So rather than having a V neck, I've created the V with this necklace, which is the abstract silver and gold pendant. It's online at 2750. The floaty top is £45 and the stonewash 1975s ladies are £69. The cotigan, which is fab, is 60 Are you ready Donna? Yes. So yes. Donna's ready ladies for her next outfit. Before she comes on I'm going to have a quick hello to her somebody. Hi Michaela. Yeah and Michaela the necklace is fab. Hi Cathy it's lovely to see you. Jane hi. Hi Jackie. Hi Maureen, Suzanne, and Dee, Lorraine, hi everybody, she says hi Chantelle, oh my god we've got loads, Mary Simon darling, when you came in the other day we need to grab you to do a video, well, we've got to mention that, because Sandy's moving, we need you now to be our tall bird, right, are you ready my love, okay, right, Donna's right. on with her outfit, right, it's party season, so I have brought in my favourite party dress and I've actually put on my party tights. Right, so here I am wearing um, the black. So the, this one is slightly longer than the dress. So this is, um, to, you can wear these in the day, uh, any occasion basically is what I'm trying to say. So any occasion we can dress them down with jeans, we can dress them down for going to the supermarket, we can dress them up for going to a party. So here, um, and, and obviously you can have any colour, you're not really looking at the colour here, you're looking at um, how, it, how they wear with the, go with the dress. So um, the black one, what we haven't, have we said that they've got, both got pockets? So both got pockets here. If you want to, you can, um, you, and you're worried about them opening, obviously they, they have no buttons, they are sort of edge to edge. But what you can do, is if you party season is just pin a brooch if you're going out you can use a brooch and pin it um the next time i wear one i'm going to show you another way to keep it closed but um here i am with it uh, as a smart addition equally it could go uh, going out to lunch um with a lunch dress rather than a party dress and um just the job so this is a previous season's dress ladies i'm sorry don't try and buy this dress this dress is, oh, it's about four or five years old now and um, comes out every winter still. So, right, Sarah, no, I need to keep no, talking, I mean, keep to talking. Do a dance. So what I will better. say, what I will go on to say here is I have, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you it with another dress later and in case we run out of time, I'll talk now. So this dress is still fitting me with my uh, lockdown um 
expanding. So this dress, the cut of this means it's still fitting, fitting me. However, if you've got a dress that's a little bit, still fitting you, but it's a little bit snug and you're not feeling very comfortable in it, then you pop one of these on and the only piece on show, there's no lumps and bumps showing, is this panelling. And so even if you are not, so even if you're, um, uh, you know, larger size and you're worried about in, in a dress, you want to wear a dress, but you're worried about lumps and bumps, you can wear this to sort of frame the dress. Does that make sense? So the dress is underneath. Imagine a nice brightly coloured dress underneath. And the only bit that's on show is this front panelling. All the lumps and bumps are tucked underneath there and um, you, you you can keep it on when you go to a drinks party you know you go in you arrive at a drinks party with a coat and uh, your coat is your is your um, what, what's the word Sarah safety blanket. safety blanket your comfort blanket and somebody wants to take it from you at the door this is part of your outfit so this is you can you can take your safety blanket with you Right. You're oh, going to have to talk for two seconds because okay. this is my biggest change. <laughs> we should have organised this a bit better, Donna. So we're, we're a little, we've less to talk about today. Right, I'm just going to do a twirl and let you just have a look. We've got less to talk about today because we're concentrating on the cotigans, but of course it means our changes need to be quick. And in a moment, I've got to open the zip of this dress by myself. Actually, before I leave, I might have to get you to open the zip, Sarah. That would be easier. Right. Okay. And we're straight. Right. Almost. Let me just get Sarah to unzip me. There we go. We need a dresser. Perhaps one day, very soon, we'll have a dresser. <laughs> when we're on Good Morning TV or whatever those are. We on. would have a dresser. We need to apply. Yeah, we need to go live on. What is it, Donna? I don't are you watch on TV. Because I've come off. Yeah, yeah. What's the TV programme you watch? This morning. This morning. And what goes on after this morning? This uh, I have no idea. No, but anyway, that's yeah. the one where they get, where Trini is, where they're getting all the influence yeah, that's on. Yeah, this morning. Oh, is it? Right, this morning. So, ladies, I'm wearing a black coat again like Donna. I've styled it in a very different way. Um, I popped on my Igor 6 8 toes. Still got my leopardy shoes. Um, we're going to be doing an entire video next week about our stamen trousers. We're going to do Igor's, um, Inas and the Inulas, which I put online yesterday. So that's something to look forward to. We've got the black coat again at the top. So it's just a really, really smart, smart outfit. And then underneath I've got our camel cropped jumper from Agel, which is £79. The Igors are 58 and underneath that I've got my Annabelle frilled collar and you can see that I've got the three colours popping out of the bottom of the sleeve. So this is a really, really smart look. It just shows you that coatigans can be worn in the evening, but equally they can be worn in an office environment or going out to lunch. And of course, to give me that B, it would help if I had this on the right way round. Let me turn it and pretend it's on the right way round. To give me the V, I've got the little necklace, which is called the Teardrop Silver and Gold Pendant, which is online at £30.50. So I'm just going to come in a bit closer, ladies, so that you can see the detailing on this outfit. You'll all be pleased to know that on Monday I'm going to Ely, and so I will have a new phone, and then I think it might focus a bit better, which will be great all round. I'm just going to have a quick hello whilst Donna's finishing off her outfit. Hi, Cathy. It's lovely to see you. And you, Anita. I hope you got your email, Anita, letting you know your coupon details, because, ladies, Anita was the winner of our monthly draw. So remember, if you buy from us online as a customer, your name will be entered into our monthly draw, which means you stand the chance of winning a hundred pounds of vouchers. So Anita won them this month. There is gonna be a gap because we forgot about returns. So the next draw, which will be for November, November? No, the next draw, which will be for December, will actually be on February the 2nd, not January the 2nd. 
Are you there, my love? Yes. Right, so Donna's ready to roll, ladies. What do you think about this outfit? Big thumbs up, please, if you like it. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so way number three to wear your coat again. So, um, so to, to, to go over what we've said, you can wear them inside, you can wear them outside. You can, um, you, you need to wear slim fitting clothes underneath, no matter what your size, have slim fitting or tight fitting clothes underneath. Um, or um, you can use them to, with a belt. So whatever you've got underneath, you can emphasize your waist if you have a waist, ladies, you can emphasise your waist underneath the cotagon. It's not a case of cotagons are just, they, they are oversized. What I'm trying to say is they're not just for the larger lady to wear. If you are small and petite, you can wear them. You just need to um, emphasise your waist underneath or as I've done on top. Um, so I am wearing just a camisole underneath and I have turned the cotagon into like the main part of my, my outfit. But, you know, th this is not coming off. I've turned up the sleeves to show a little bit more wrist. Um, if I, let's turn one down to show you the difference. So look, you know, so showing detail. So I'm showing you the wrist. Um, I have belted it at the waist. Sarah and I have experimented today and worked out that you can only do this um, wear a wide belt. Sarah can't do it. She wanted to belt it. She had a go. She doesn't have a waist. So um, you need, so this look. It looked look, like, look like a dressing gown. Yes, it? It, did, it did come out like a dressing gown. So I'm using it here to, you can see I've still got the pockets. I've wrapped it over and I'll just do a twirl. And I've teamed it with, I could just as easily have a skirt on underneath, I think, with this outfit. But I've teamed it with some slim fitting trousers, which could be my Angelica jeans. But what I've actually chosen to wear are my eyegles. So my eyegles are the 7 8 So they come just to the very um, close fitting and they come to the top of my boot. Um, and so I wouldn't, you know, I couldn't wear this if I was wearing looser trousers. Perhaps then it would look like I'm wearing a dressing gown. In fact, my cotagons that I have, and I've had, I've been wearing them, I bought my first one in the first year that I worked here. My cotagons, once they're past their best, then I'll go home today, take my newer one off, put my older one on, and basically it becomes like a, a house coat. So I'm not putting my dressing gown on, um, but I have another layer and uh, like a house coat. So, um, yeah, so, right, so anybody, is this popular or is this, is everybody laughing or is saying, no, 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 that looks awful or is this okay? Would any of you wear this look? Can I, I can't see, sorry, excuse me. Would any of you wear this look or any of you going to try? If you're going to try it, I think you need to get yourself a statement belt. So you know, I'm sure you've seen I have a statement hip belt that I wear to change and to be able to wear lots of different clothes. This is my statement uh, wide belt. I've had it for many, many years. Um, white, wide belts come in and out of fashion. I don't care. I um, have worn it even when, even when it's out of fashion. And um, it's not, it wasn't an expensive one. And it just is the one that works for me. Also colour, I think you'd have to be careful with the colour. It's a very, um, it's sort of a bronzy colour, which means that I look, I haven't split myself in two. I have split myself in two with a belt, but if this was a colour belt, it would look, um, it wouldn't look right. I will have divided myself in the wrong place. But because it's colour blocking, it's working. So that's what I'm saying. Um, try different widths of belts, ladies, if you want to have a go, and also try different colours. Don't dismiss it when you put your little belt that you've had in the cupboard for years on and it doesn't work. It doesn't mean to say it won't work for you, it just might be that you haven't got the right belt. So look out for a statement, nice statement belt. 
Um, and I don't know what the vote was, but I'll have a look later. Right, Sarah's ready. Thank you. So, ladies, I'm on outfit number three, 10 ways to wear a coat again in six colours. And I have our gorgeous denim coat again on. And actually, this has so far this season been the best selling colour because it's a colour. Um, it's really, really a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. So I'm wearing it really dressed down just to show you that this is a garment that you can pop on every single day just to give you an extra layer of warmth. And starting from the bottom up, I'm wearing my um, Verona shoes, which are from Orca Bay, handmade. And they are retailing, I think from memory, at £79 because I've left them a bit of paper in the changing room. Above these, I have my faithful 1975s, which are the jeans that I always wear. My denim coatigan. Underneath, I've got the oversized uh, cow neck uh, cashmere mix jumper from Agel. So far this season, you've seen me in the teal, but today I'm wearing navy. And then to finish the outfit off, I have my Isabel, which is our Italian leather bag, um, worn as a crossbody in tan. Uh, we are fast running out of Isabel's ladies because they make great Christmas presents. So if you want one before Christmas, nab it now. We have lots and lots of stock of coatigans, so you don't need to panic by those. We will hopefully be carrying them into February next year. We also, in all the colours that you see today, have the heavy knit gilets. So if you fancy um, a nice garment to cover a multitude of sins, but you don't want the sleeves, everything that you see today is a heavy knit gilet as well. We also have a knitted gilet, which is a lighter weight than the heavy knitted gilet, um, but exactly the same cut, possibly marginally shorter. And they are available in teal, red, fuchsia and camel. And after Christmas and after the sale, we will be doing a video featuring, featuring even our heavy knit gilets. So this is outfit number three the denim coatigan and online you will find them they are called the smart knitted coatigan are you ready my love yeah so I am. donna is here with outfit number four ladies okay right and i was going to put another scarf on but um We've lost, we've lost the plot. <laughs> right, okay, so navy. So we do uh, coat again in navy, and what you saw me do before, if you don't want to wear black, you can do, you can belt the navy, you can uh, find yourself a navy belt to do it with. Um, you can put navy with absolutely any, any other colour, um, but often one of the colours that we don't think about putting navy with is grey. So I've done, that's exactly what I've done to show you um, what navy looks like with grey and how lovely it looks. So um, I have teamed the navy coatigan with um, our signature grey polo, which is £40 and we do have stock available. I have then also um, teamed with my own trousers from about... Oh, again, about four or five years ago. And what I've done to these trousers when I bought them is I've had them shortened to a length that I prefer. And it also means that when you I've shortened them, you can see the boots. So the boot, these are our two-tone boots um, that we have online at the moment. They're 59 pounds. I'm calling them Peaky Blinder boots, but they are not online as Peaky Blinder boots. So they are zipped to the side. They are a block heel. Can you see the block heel? When you buy them, if you buy these ladies, they have a, um, they have a protection piece of film underneath. You need to take that off, otherwise you'll be slipping and sliding all over the place. And, um, and that's the navy with the grey. Obviously with this, you could put a grey scarf, you could put a, that's what it was. I had a grey bobble scarf with this outfit and we've sold them today. So ladies, the, the navy and the bobble and the grey bobble scarves are sold out. We only have the pink ones left. I'm gonna show you this, the pink in, in my next outfit. 
Um, and there we go. So that again is a smart outfit. I've smartened it up. Um, but navy with grey. Is that popular? Is that a yes or do you think no, no, no? Would you wear navy with grey now that you've seen it? Let me have a look and see. Yes, I've got a thumb up. I don't know who that thumb up was from, but I've got a thumb up. Can I ask then, is it something you'd thought about doing before? Because honestly, before I did the research, I think I'd seen it... Um, I put navy with grey one other time, but it's not something I thought about until I started mixing and matching and working here. So is it is it the same for you? So right, Sarah's ready. I've got the wrong boots. Wrong boots on, but that looks nice. That the looks right lovely. boots are in, yeah. in, in yeah. the um Yeah, so there's the navy ladies. And if for those of you wanting to know the length, if I say it's coming down on me about two um inches below my knee and the reason i'm telling you that is because my mum is probably a little bit shorter than me now um she's probably under five foot now and i bought her one for last christmas and she was worried that it was going to look too long and drown her um my mum doesn't like dark colors she doesn't like she's the opposite to me so i bought her the stone one and she wears it all the time right ready sarah yeah Bye -bye. So ladies, I'm in outfit number four now. Apologies, I've got the wrong shoes on. I should have our Peaky Blinder boots on, but I've left them behind that door. So starting from the top, I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, pink and grey scarf. This is not online, which is why we actually have some left. The likelihood of it going online is slim because I don't think we've got photography, but you never know if I get a few moments. But can you see, it's graded. So with this, ladies, you need to message us. It's graded from pale pink to silver. Absolutely gorgeous. And what it does is it lifts what is otherwise a very smart, but quite a severe outfit. So just popping this in my neckline breaks it up completely. And then what I would do if I hadn't had the scarf is obviously I would have a silver necklace in the neckline. But if you imagine my boots are black, this is a great work outfit. And again, um, not everybody who works in an office works in a toasty one. You know, they can be quite cold. Um, and so this is a great extra layer for work, ladies. And I am wearing the slate coat again over the grey roll neck from Signature, which is online at £60. And then this is my nod to wearing... Is it 60? Coat... I thought it was 40. 40. Sorry, I've got that wrong. This is my nod to wearing stripes. So, um, I've, I've forgotten what these are called, actually. But they're a little 7 8 stamen trouser, which is online. We've only got very limited sizes back. Got pockets, but it's partially elasticated at the back you won't be able to see it because my belt's in the way so they're very very comfortable and they're like a grey flannel um, I think we've got a 10 and a 16 and an 18 left the smaller ones sold out very very quickly and we're just left with the larger sizes now but this is to show you ladies that coatigans can be worn in more formal environments they're not just for slobbing around in at the weekends they are garments that um, are extremely comfortable but also can look very very smart and then on the way to the office what you can do is you can put over your full length uh gilet the padded gilets that we've been selling this year and then you have extra protection from the cold and you're absolutely on trend in fact, for the next one, although the colours are not going to work, um, I will grab my long line gilet just to pop over the top of my last outfit so that you can see how I come to work most days. Are you ready, Donna? Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, Donna's going to be on next with outfit number five. Okay, and this is my fifth way of wearing. So this is um, me in a colour that I normally, sh I, I love. I'm drawn to it on the hanger. But I've never, uh, dusty pink, I'm always drawn to, but it's never looked good on me. So um, 
I've kind of, when I tried this on today, I thought, no, no, this was going to be a no on me. But actually, I've teamed it with navy and I quite like it. Um, also, I've gone for the pink scarf. So I've always put pink on my daughter, not on myself. So the pink pom-pom scarf before I whip it off is the only... Um, bobble scarf that we have left so if you're um, hoping for a um, one of those uh, we still have pink left and they are 20 pounds and in case you haven't seen them before they open up really wide they're like a pashmina size and you layer them layer them like this so that your your pom-poms are um, not equal and once they're not equal then you put it on like that so when you put it on you then have lots of pom-poms and uh, or baubles oh, there we go right so I have um, put it on with a very slim fitting navy knitted dress so this is a jumper dress that I've um, pulled out of my wardrobe that I've had for many years um, particular favorite of mine um, I love a jumper dress um, I've put the same belt on so you can to show you that um, you can belt, you can have the oversized um, cotagon, but then underneath um, show off, it emphasise a waist underneath. But I'm just going to whip that off now. You've seen it. So this is the dress, and I'm going to take it off. <laughs> I'm going to take my comfort zone. This is a dress that I've had, as I say, for a few years. And I used to wear it with nothing on top, no comfort um, uh, blankets. Uh, now there's too many bulges for my liking. Yes, 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 there are, I promise you. I am a little bit heavier than I was. And so when I pop the coatigan back on, look, all you're seeing is this panel down the front. So that the bits that I'm a little bit, your side view that I'm a little bit nervous about are hidden away. Um, again, I could, I'm just gonna show you a different way to belt it quickly. And I, I haven't tried this, I've done this at home before, but I don't know if it'll work with this belt, so I haven't done it with this belt before, is that you saw the belt on, so let's put the belt on, but instead of wrapping over like I did before, I'm just having the coatigan hanging down here. And you're I'm just gonna have to look in the mirror and tell you if it's working. Yes, there we go, it is working, I would wear that. Um, but again, it's um, if you've got a waist and you want to emphasize your waist and you've been nervous about buying oversized clothes because you know I had a lady in today and she doesn't want she didn't want oversized she wanted fitted and there's a lot of oversized and um, especially in the winter um, and it's very on trend but it's how you wear it you don't have to look um, it doesn't have to drown you you can you can do things so that you, you you're able to wear it are we ready? Yeah. Right, there we go. So that's my... So that's your outfit number that, five. And that means that's outfit number five. And I was always a bit nervous about wearing pink, but this is the that. dusty pink. And I'm just going to come closer so you can see the colour. Can you see the colour okay? There we go. Sarah's nice outfit. Right, ladies, uh, before we start on my last outfit, I must say that once we started doing this, we came up with outfit after outfit after outfit. So what we've done as we've gone along today is the outfits we're not showing you in this video, we've taken photos of. So across Instagram and Facebook for the next week, you will see photos of Donna and I in our alternative Cotigan outfit. So yeah, this is how I arrive at work. This is the uh, long line padded gilet from Urfo. Uh, this belongs to me. I haven't really taken it off a lot since I purchased it because I don't really wear coats because I wear jackets and cotigans to work. I just want an extra layer over the top and my jacket or coat again creates too much bulk to get underneath a coat. So grab yourself a coat again, lady, uh, a gilet, ladies, so that you can wear your coat again and your jackets with ease to work. I'm just going to return my bow. Now, a lot of people associate silver 
with old ladies, especially if, like me, you've got silver hair. So the challenge today was to put together an outfit that has quite a young feel. And um, I hope that I've done it. I've even gone off slightly off message for me because I've colour blocked, ladies. I've colour blocked and for the first time in my life, I think I like it. So obviously, the base outfit is just matchy-matchy, so I'm in my comfort zone. I have my Stonewash 1975s on, £69. I have this gorgeous animal print top from K Design, which is £65. We also have this as a skirt and a dress. And then over the top, I have the silver coat again. But what I've done is I've colour blocked it with... Um, with olive green and i didn't really see how this worked it was donna who pointed it out to me because i love matching things what i've automatically done is i've tied the silver in with the greys in this top but the gold on my olive green boots as she pointed out to me ties in with the with the uh, peachy colours that are in the in the um, blouse, and then I can take the green from my boots into this small tote bag. So unexpectedly, ladies, I am in a winter outfit that is full of colour, and I love. So anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed our quick whistle through coatigans. Um, we're going to do a newsletter about them this weekend in which we'll feature the video and we'll also pop up some of the um, photos that we've taken today. But if you go onto Instagram and onto Facebook throughout the week, ladies, then you'll see lots and lots of different photos. We're back next Thursday with Igor's, Inas and Inulas. So this basically, ladies, is for those of you who've joined us over the past year when we haven't banged on about these wonderful trousers quite as much as we usually do so we're doing an entire program featuring our pull-on stamen trousers which are the base of our wardrobes if you leave our jeans out of the equation if we're not in those we are in a pair of stamen trousers so that's next week and that ladies is our last video before christmas Ooh, donna yes. isn't it yep. i think yep. because think so. the following week is Christmas. Is Christmas, so yeah. we haven't got one. So there will be a break, and after next week, there will be a break until the 6th of January. More about that later. Whatever you're doing this weekend, ladies, I hope you have a fabulous time, and um, thank you for joining us. There we go. Bye-bye. 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 Bye, Preston.